exploring the keyboard will start in main and we can get the keyboard up either by tapping the button here or we could also have gone to settings and keyboard but of course that's hidden it let's get it back now on math one or our everyday kind of 2d math calculations here math 2 gives us access to some uh, calculus functions some matrix functions and notice on nearly every keyboard you'll find the backspace copy paste answer to recall the previous answer and execute to perform a calculation tapping on math 3 we have some tools for functions uh, and also some inequalities and various sets of brackets trig gives us access to inverse trig functions and the hyperbolic trig functions var is when we want single letter variables other than x y or z then we've got a's and b's and c's that we can access from here notice also that capital letters uh, these variables are treated differently to lowercase variables moving on to the ABC tab this is best avoided for any single letter variables um, if you want to save a file or write some text this is really the ideal menu for to come here for we've also got four tabs across the top that give access to a whole load more of um, variables and symbols on the math we've got just about every math symbol we can find somewhere here subscripts superscripts uh, and so on set into sections under symbol there are a whole uh, variety of symbols here that can be used for some variables as well to return to the previous menu we're going to tap this icon in the bottom left corner which takes us straight back to math one so there's more keyboards access from this little key down here if we tap this fella it brings us to the catalog of function which is a bit like your phone book if we want to get to say a, a function or a, a um, variable that begins with r we're going to tap across until we find the r's if we tap on the r here are all of the uh, class pad functions and commands that begin with an r and we can tap down to find the ones that we want um, next tab down is advanced which is basically useful for some counting techniques here factorials permutations and combinations and also Fourier Laplace transforms and finally we have the number tab which is sometimes handy if you're using the stylus to enter numbers uh, using this rather than the actual buttons down over here and that pretty much sums up our tour of the keyboard to get back from here we're just going to tap the up arrow returns us to the math one keyboard and we're done there